evening us topping this half hour. 64 human trafficking cases were closed in South Carolina last year. 13 new cases were added, but the state is constantly working on ways to decrease those numbers and prosecute offended offenders involved in these heinous crimes. Our Georgia Godfrey has details on a new industry that's joining the fight against human trafficking. The South Carolina Human Trafficking Task Force combines the expertise of different industries like churches and law enforcement. For example, the task force is now getting a new member to help identify and report both sex and labor trafficking. Human trafficking is a growing issue and as the problem persists, the state looks for different ways to approach the issue. The state's Human Trafficking Task Force uses faith groups, community organizations and law enforcement to educate the public and raise awareness. It's, it's important to have diverse groups as part of this task force because everyone is going to um, deal with human trafficking different. Human trafficking different. Everyone is going to see it in different ways based on what they do for a living. The state's restaurant and lodging association recently joined the efforts. We have so many members throughout the state, and um, we're one of the largest employers in the state, the hospitality industry. As part of the task force, employees at those hotels and restaurants will be trained to identify warning signs of both sex and labor trafficking. Human traffickers and criminals, they go to restaurants just like we do, and training that wait staff and training the hospitality staff to see things and look for things and how to how to report things just gives us that many more eyes and ears on the ground. I feel like a lot of people um, hear about it and they don't think it's in their community, but believe me, it's in our community and it's happening every day. So uh, we just want to make our members aware what is going on and maybe some tips to, mm -hmm. to uh, look at, you know, if you see something to say something. In addition to training the employees, posters with the National Human Trafficking Hotline number on it will be put up in those restaurants and hotels. In Columbia, Georgia Godfrey, 7 News. There are 2,200 member restaurants and hotels in the state's Restaurant and Lodging Association.